guess before, before we wrap up, you want to mention just the last part where um, they talk about oh, the yeah. surprise attack. Like, yes, that was the best part. Yo, mother motherfucker, you didn't even watch that part when you originally watched the episode. I'm literally <laughs> texting, I'm texting oh, Sasha, and I'm just like, I'm just like, yo, man, what did you think about? He's like, yo, man, I, I wasn't really feeling this episode. I'm like, what did you think about with Reiner and them forming the counterattack? He's like, wait, what? And I'm like, did, did Sasha, you watch you're it? not listening to that ending song in four? Like, there That's are two I don't do. He's just like, he's like, yo, 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 man, once that ending song hits, man, like, uh, you, your boy's out. And I'm just like, what? oh, whoa. Just so I, I took that personally. God. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. In trend. All right. Five seconds. Oh god. All right. We're in. All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sasaga Yo Sundays. This is the show where we talk about the final season of Attack on Titan. I'll be your host, David, and joining me today we have Taylor. Hello. Next up we have Justin. Yo. Next up we have Ku. Hello. Hello. Next up, we have Sasha. Sheen's a woe. And finally, we have Brian. Sasha, Gale. Battery. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we've got appearances by Stren. Thanks, so. man. Yeah. So, another episode on the island. More, I guess, more exposition, more, or more explanation, too, about like what happened in the backstory. And. Big focus on Sasha's favorite character here, Kathy. Gabby Gang. So, where oh we my go? gosh. This was Sasha's favorite episode. <laughs> By far. By far. I, I was just so enthralled. I mean, I felt so bad for Gabby because you can see she's really struggling, guys. Okay. You know, she is an open minded individual that's not at all about cancel culture. And she believes strongly in her history. And I, you know, I just wanted to be there for her and just stay open hearted. Is the absolute nonsense i would never say because i'll be honest i know why this episode took place i get it i just i cannot stand gabby like i was really I, hoping when they were playing with that pitchfork <laughs> that pitchfork actually ended up going through her eye <laughs> and there's our intro uh, friend yeah. right. so i'm like yeah no, i i totally I'm like I'm as we keep going with Gabby more and more. I'm just like with Sasha. It's like I I get it. I get what they're trying to do. Like, but yeah, I think I've seen enough. So I'm totally with you, Sasha. Thank you. Especially when she, like she starts like she starts screaming too. Like she's trying so hard. Like just to like to shout at the the orphanage and at that one girl. And I'm like, uh, like I get what they're, they're going for, but like. Uh, I just feel okay. so bad for Falco the whole time. He's just like sitting there yes, trying to exactly. damage control, like his little spinoff. He's getting an ulcer. <laughs> like, yeah, this poor kid. But See, I'll I'll tell you guys. This I'll is why you go after the crazy lady because when you fall in love with the crazy lady, this is what you get. Just nothing. But but Fal Falco never knew that. He just thought that she was, you know, confident. But it's like, nah, she's batshit no. drinking the Marley and Kool Aid, black, white, like <laughs> insane. <laughs> Yeah, this is why you date yes. someone first for for like you know a good amount of time before We're you before you, before you, <laughs> before you, you yeah. decide to like sacrifice your life for her, right? Because you know? he was gonna like become beast titan for her to save her life. Yeah, it, uh, it reminds me of that one meme from like I think it's from like the Goof Troop movie or whatever, where it's like the one female girl and it's like uh, he shows up at her house and then the house is like all disheveled and he's like, "Damn, bitch! Like you live like this." Like that's how I imagine Falco is with like now figuring out wow. Gabby's like garbage and uh, baggage and everything. Oh, God. So. I gotta say, aside from my unrealistic and strongly devoted hatred for Gabby, I gotta say the uh, the first like two minutes of the episode left me thinking like, wait, how did that just happen? So when she's like fake convulsing. And Falco's like, oh, help me, help me. And there's one random security guard who's like, oh, hey, I'll just walk in here with nobody else around. And then he gets killed. And there's no other level of security. They just kind of cut to them running in the woods. I thought that felt very un-AOT um, because I get the attentions on Aaron and what's going on in the city. And there's a lot of moving parts right now. But it feels like for the person who killed Sasha... 
you're just gonna let them escape like that like that part to me honestly let the episode go down this rabbit hole of like why did that just happen and then obviously you got gabby the least likable character of all time in the history of anything i think yes so uh i don't know the the, the episode for me all well, it was good i get what they're trying to do it just it wasn't it wasn't emotionally thrilling until the after credit scene that that's the part where i was like yes but yeah. i digress you know, I could say things in response to that to, like, defend the show and, like, explain why they could get away with it. But ultimately, I agree with you. I mean, it felt a, it feels a little weak. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that I just enjoy the mo most is the irony of everything, especially, you know, in relation to Sasha and Gabby, where it just happens that the farm that Gabby and Falco, you know, stumble upon through meeting Kara in the, in the forest is Sasha's parents. <laughs> At the Browse Farm, so yeah. mm -hmm. it's very, very fitting of those connections. And then, furthermore, how uh, Kara or Kayo, whatever the blonde-haired girl's name was, um, Sokka yeah. was the one that saved her from back in season two. I think is when we saw yeah. that uh, yeah. that flashback. Well, there's they had a lot of that this episode. Like I think the beginning, like um, the guy, the one guy who was like talking to to Hanji like oh, he was the, the Reeves company guy Reeves company yeah he's mm -hmm. he's that guy and then also um they had that one girl that Mikasa saved earlier too like to leak the info like they had yep. oh, yeah. so like there was a lot of those like callbacks to a lot of the things that happened before that I was not expecting yeah so I really love was how Attack on good. Titan always has those like full circles I feel like that really strengthens the show um yeah. they, they never let up on it I really appreciate that even did though like, sometimes I have to be like, like that one girl that Mikasa was talking to, I, I did it in the manga and I did it again. I was like, who are you? Yeah, I didn't remember <laughs> Luis, the girl, and their relationship. And I didn't remember, too, Mikasa having that flashback of re-remembering the events when, you know, her and Aaron got attacked. And it actually being Aaron is the one who, like, went crazy and, like, killed them or whatever. Oh, yeah. So hmm. I need to go back and reread the chapters that they they changed or they made into these episodes. So I don't remember yeah. that either. I wonder if it was in the manga. Yeah, I was going to ask if you remembered that. <laughs> I don't particular remember it. I was trying to figure on... out what you were talking about, but yeah. Yeah, I sorry, yeah, yeah. I, not... I don't think they did. It's okay. It must not be important. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, yeah. of course. Sure. Of course. But well, let's be honest. As cool as those flashbacks were, besides the guy who lost his dad to Kenny the Reaper, Bro, who cares? Who cares about these two scrubs? Like, Luis, come on, get out of here. Yo, yo man, and it's then... all about my boy Flock in the great Eldian Empire, hey. all right? <laughs> God. Hey, I thought that guy would never be redeemable. The fact that he's the one of the only few that's willing to stick up for our boy Aaron, Flock, you get over here. Bro, you <laughs> and my God. Ulysses. My God, you, bro, I... you and like, Ulysses are both on, on Aaron train. I, 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 I dab him up, you know? I dab him up. So, Flock, <laughs> he can... I love Aaron so flock. much, and I hate Flock so much. Like, I don't know how I can, like, I wish I could be more like you, Sasha, and appreciate Flock more, but I just love Aaron and hate him. <laughs> well, I, I still wouldn't care if he died or got, you know, eaten by a titan in the next episode. I just like the fact that <laughs> as flawed and, and as terrible of a human being as he is, he sticks to who he is. He's not like, you know, Mrs. Mental Breakdown getting her forehead chewed on by a horse over here so I mean, I, she sticks to what I, she believes too yeah i don't I think she she does because she doesn't know what she believes she's looking at that girl the girl was like you know why did my mom have to die why did my mom have to die again he's like <laughs> because you bad people but that makes me bad people oh my gosh <laughs> and i was just like oh my gosh get this blonde girl out of here kill her <laughs> kill her like hit her with the rock over the head. Her mom deserves to die. She weak. Get that garbage out of here. Hey. You, you just let your mom die. Jesus. That's how garbage you are. So Jesus. man, all I know is this, man. <laughs> Listen, if I'm in my living room I and mean, my mom's getting eaten by a titan, I'm getting in that titan's eye. I'm trying to put dig my toes in that titan's eye or like tickle its nose with some hot pepper, like put some hot sauce up in there. I this mean, girl's just like, I sat in my room and, and I just I listened to my mom die. She didn't I have mean, no Aaron breath. Aaron watch his mom die too. Yeah. I mean, Aaron was yo, getting yo. held back. So. Yo, but Aaron got held back by Hannes. He was he was ready to, you know, he was doing this thing, man. Cause... Okay. Yep. He, he watched yeah. his mom die. Anybody would be um, immobilized by fear by in that his, situation. His mom. Nah, nah, bro. So. 
Not me. I, I flocked to fear. Was so like obsessed with the armband <laughs> as well. I, I actually really like that scene between Falco and Gabby of just like something that seems so in insignificant as Falco's trying to explain like now that they're in Paradise, but you know, Gabby is just so fixated on without that armband, like she's just a dirty devil. There's you can do whatever you want. Special. Okay, I'll just take this armor out. Except that. Yeah. Exactly. So. I will say that scene at the pond was just gorgeous. I love it the water gorgeous. reflection. Yep. Love the colors. <laughs> I, that's like eighty percent of the reason why I like that episode. I was you just mean, like, wow. I know it was, like it was like stunningly the beautiful the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> the first like eight episodes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All the like but that... beiges and tans and reds. <laughs> it's been a lot of beige and red. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but it was uh, it was it was glorious, and then the episode just. You know, we got to learn about a potato girl with a weird stare that watched your mom get eaten or listen to it. And, uh, you know, good for her. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's not a lot really happened in, in this episode. I, I would actually say that this time. Hi, I'm hi. sorry, David. Oh, this is a perfect friend. opportunity. Oh, no. No, she's saying no. <laughs> she's saying oh. no. <laughs> I mean, it was yeah. just so much of Falco and Gabby arguing with each other and just Gabby yeah. having an existential crisis. I, you know, no, I, like, and yeah. I like it. Like, I like the, I like that development. I mean, I know Sasha's not a fan. I'm fine with it, but it's just not a lot happening. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, like, to, to be fair, though, there was so much going on. Like, it was very brief, I guess, but... There's so much that you have to figure about Gabby. I and mean, I hate that girl. Like when she was getting her head knocked off by the horse, uh, yeah, yeah, get that bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch. And then that, for some odd reason, she kicked the bucket, the bucket hit the wall, hit the, the roof or the ceiling, and came back and hit her head. Yep. Uh, yeah. Perfect chain yeah. reaction. Yeah, fuck that bitch. But like when you, when, you really, when you really think about it though, man, like I feel kind of bad for Gabby with, with how. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let the man speak no, his no, piece. Let the man speak. Yeah, I'm saying, right? Like, I hate her, okay? Don't get me wrong. I hate her because she killed Potato Girl. But, like, you have to feel for her character somewhat after this episode. Like, with how deceived she was and how she is, like, meant to believe that, like, all Eldians are the devil. And then they have to do their very best to make up for that sin. Like, if you want to think about it in a, uh, like, a religious point of view, like, from a Christian's point of view, like she's talking about the original sin, right? And then there's nothing you can do to make up for it. You have to constantly do your best to atone mm -hmm. for your sins. Mm -hmm. Like the shit that she's going through and like how headstrong she is and her beliefs, like it it, it kind of hurts watching it, especially because she's so young. And mm -hmm. even though like the evidence is in front of her eyes, she can't look away or turn away from her beliefs that all Eldians are the devil. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there may not be a lot going on, but with just Gabby in itself, like there's a lot going on that you have to look at. I'll add on to it, like, it feels like, it feels even way worse, it feels worse too, because she is, like, she, like, she, she, like, she's part of a race that gets discriminated against, and she's constantly believing, like, like, the lies that, like, that people who discriminate against her are constantly telling her, so, it's like, she's just screwed, like, either way, like, she's trying so hard to not, to, to you know, she's just trying so hard to, to be above what, what people stereotype her as, and, and now, like, she can't, like, even do that, so. Like, so I'll just add on for cool. Yeah, but she's she's just so annoying, guys. Like, I'm I sorry, I'm very. That. I, yeah. mean, I told you, you you could argue that Aaron was super no. annoying, like in the beginning as well. Well, a lot like, of people do. Oh, uh, yeah. right. That is Gabby, though. Not that is Gabby. Like, well, Which is why no, I'm so yeah, yeah. That Sasha likes Aaron so much. I thought for sure Sasha was gonna hate Aaron, and here he comes in loving that guy. Like Gabby and because Aaron are Aaron... like the same person. <laughs> Aaron has matured beyond his years. He, well, when he became Gabby Keanu dies. Aaron, <laughs> only I, like, we ain't got time. We oh got one year left of Aaron's life, okay? I don't know what school. show you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I guess sure. to add on to this, I love the way the last episode ended with the wine, and then we got none of that. So that part really disappointed me, honestly, because I was waiting True. for more of that. just... We're just give me a little. Infinitely. Like there will be so much of that kind of theme very soon, probably yeah, but, next episode. <laughs> but replacing with Gabby and and her disgusting <laughs> forehead and just her terrible haircut, yeah, it's just the, the Gabby haters. They they yeah. can't win. It's a. It's, think, think about it is like the return, like seeing Sasha's saga come full circle. Like she saved that girl. That girl wants to now be like Sasha. Like doesn't that feel fulfilling? 
Aren't you happy no. that you saw that? <laughs> well, nope. I mean, I guess the argument is like we have to show Gabby's, you know, struggles and and quote unquote growths in some ways. Where imagine like if Aaron was just introduced as like Chad Aaron, you know, you didn't see any of his like adolescent years and everything that he had to go through or do that either was right or wrong. You know, now that it's 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 her time to shine from that younger age, and they need to get through it. But yeah, to your point, Sasha, yeah, I get it. We don't have all the time in the world to do this, but I yeah, will it's, say it's, that pairing Gabby next to Falco makes it look makes her look especially crazy. Like Falco is yeah. so reasonable, open minded, thinks outside the box, non judgmental, and then there's Gabby, who's none of those things. And so you're seeing her next to him, and it just makes her look extra terrible. <laughs> Mm-hmm. yep and it, it's all done on purpose and like yeah. i said i get that part i just have such a strong bias and hatred for gabby that okay. she could become the saint and the focus of the show and the future generation yeah. like one part of me suspects that's what's going to happen I'll, I'll give you guys i think everyone's going to die except for maybe like a few of these new bloods if you will ak like pidgeot and that one like four-legged girl <laughs> so <laughs> like <laughs> Porco with his Porco, yeah, style, his undercut. Yep, that's a good so, reference. Yeah. No, I th- no, I th- fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll with it. Continue, continue, I, please. I, we're done. We're done. I, I oh, think this God. is setting it up because we know Aaron's gonna die. The show's pretty gruesome. I, I, I think our main cast that we love, I think they're all gonna die. That's gonna be the price of peace in the future. So you're gonna have. I don't know how many of these new characters carry it on and maybe like the series ends with them continuing on um, life in a better place, potentially if it does have a somewhat happy ending, because I'm, I'm predicting all the people we love dead. Um, so like I said, just, I, I get it, but it pains me so much. It's like that one annoying person that you know in your life that comes over for some type of gatherings or you meet them in the theater and they're the ones like saying the stupid stuff during the movie and it's not even funny, but they just do it because they want to do it. it it's, ah, uh, she's just a revolting person. Like I do, I do not want to see her anymore on screen unless she's getting shot like that one guy, Carlo, with his neck bent 45 degrees. Oh, like, man. Yo, Rest in peace, that, Carlo. Yeah, Carlo. Carlo was a good guy with those pictures of who was his family. Like, you know, Gabby wouldn't have pictures of her family. She would have pictures of like trying to kill Aaron and dressing him in, up in mascara. <laughs> um, and I, I get your point. She is basically Aaron 2.0, but that's exactly why I don't like her as much because we've already seen Aaron's story. I love what he's become. He's become so numb. I can't feel you now. <laughs> right? So oh, yeah. I'm team Aaron. My heart's committed to Aaron. I do not care about Gabby. And uh, I really don't care what she does from here on out uh, as long as she meets a very, very disturbing end. Like, uh, you know, they unveil, Marley unveils their big weapon against titans is a giant meat grinder <laughs> and she slips in there and you just hear like this Gabby, ah! <laughs> and then uh yeah that'd be a great ending for her so that's all i got well it's all right Tosh, you got you got ulysses following you to the end as well so yes <laughs> oh, shit. ulysses for the win baby woo, woo. oh god <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I think also a really nice shot of Reiner waking up shirtless. That was fun for me. I'm getting eye candy this season, so it sucks for you guys. <laughs> uh, Hanji also looked beautiful this episode, but yeah, she I was gonna say, mile, so that sucked. It's not easy being the, the leader of the survey corps in these divisive times, yeah. Um, indeed, I'd say the only other thing is we got to see uh, Commander Pixies get his uh, his Mac on with Yelena of like, oh, I get a you know. I gotta interrogate a fine young thing like yourself, oh, yeah. and Yelena just like, okay, old yeah, man, yeah. cool. Which is like the weakest <laughs> Yelena. Yeah. It's gotta be. I don't know. I'm just like, bro. With his, uh, with that his. makes me worry about Pixies. Maybe Pixies was really, you know, feeling Armin back in the day. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> you're looking real nice, oh, and then now he just has Yelena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, babe, I can get with this. Yeah, yeah he's like, yeah, it's my time. <laughs> <laughs> oh whoa where is this All going wrong, <laughs> how you gonna do my bad commander pixies like that this man like to get his drink on <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, make mind like that alright yeah hey, he had that question. he had that brain surgery recently that enlarged right, his head but <laughs> last week his forehead whatever oh, I, I am telling you 
I still think wit when it comes to their faces, like I love the detail. I, I thought the shots with the eyes this episode were actually really, really detailed and just amazing. I just, I just prefer the simpler, more stylized look that we had with wit, and I'm starting to tell that with our boy Mega Mind, with you know Mikasa Levi. Um, so that's, he can't be Pixies anymore. He is Mega Mind. <laughs> he is, and our boy Pidgeotto. Like wow. Like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, I guess before, before we wrap up, do you want to mention just the last part where um, they talk about the oh, surprise yeah. attack? Like, yes, that was the best part. Yo, mother- motherfucker, you didn't even watch that part when you originally watched the episode. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> texting. Oh, I'm texting oh, Sasha, and I'm just like, I'm just like, yo, man, what did you think about? He's like, yo, man, I, I wasn't really feeling this episode. I'm like, well, what did you think about with Reiner and them forming the counterattack? He's like, wait, what? And I'm like, did, did Sasha, you watch you're it? not listening to that ending song in full. Like there are two I don't do. He's just like, he's like, yo, 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 man. Once that ending song hits, man, like uh, you, your boy's out. And I'm just like, what? Oh, just so I, I took that personally. Just, how are you gonna explode yeah. like that, bro? Now he's never gonna come nah, back. Nah, man. I got to. Yo. Oh my Yo, guys, I just want to let you know this is my last episode. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, man, for Justin. Like, nah, <laughs> nah, man. He won't watch Jujutsu Kaisen. I had to, I had to clap back. <laughs> Even though it was my own fault of why he's not watching it. <laughs> That's oh, right. I can't be at fault here. Everything I do is to move forward. I'm moving us forward, Ku. It's the only okay, way. Okay, Reiner. Oh, yeah, but I got to say, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I echo the sentiments of Taylor as far as Reiner's wake up scene. And then also just the fact that Reiner's like, guys, we cannot wait. We just gotta, we gotta move. And General Macbeth is looking at him with that unibrow. Like that, uh, those eyebrows are slowly starting to connect together more and more. He's just like, oh yes, let me put a bandage over it to hide it. And then you got, you got a four legged girl over there looking like uh, the teacher from My Hero Academia, the one who's always super tired and eraser, whatever his name is. So like, (laughs) I, yeah, if Aizawa took off those little bands <laughs> and started walking on all fours, that would be him. So, uh, yeah, I, I like that little coalition we had there because they're finally realizing, like, as much as we can plan, they they are outsmarting us at every single step, and they've planned for this. So the only way you can really undo any plans is by just going in there unexpectedly. I think, I don't know who who said it or where I read it, but someone talked about, like, if you're the best in your field, it's not the second or third best that's going to throw you off or dethrone you. It's that one unorthodox person that comes in and just has a style you've never seen because you have never trained or prepared for it. So I, I really like that last part because the whole episode, I was just like, oh, gosh, please just just let a Titan consume my body right now because this, <laughs> this was agonizing with Gabby. Um, and, you know, what, what's the blonde girl's name? The one who's just like dead in her eyes? Yelena. Just... No, 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 not her. Oh, no, the other one. Caillou or whatever. Kaya, Kaya or something like that. Yeah, Jojo Siwa, whatever her name is. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I thought that end was... That end got me hyped. <laughs> Brian, answer these fools. <laughs> Brian, Brian, hit me with that picture, bro. Jojo Siwa, ace that, bro. <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, I don't have much else after yeah, that. I think I, I think it. like Taylor said, we're gonna get back to our regularly scheduled broadcast that all of you oh. have been enjoying. So <laughs> that? that's her right there. Um, one last comment because we didn't touch upon this. How about Hizuru meeting up and being like, "Yo, here's this little uh, device, oh, uh, aircraft, uh, helicopter, or whatever, yeah. the seaplane, or whatever." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of a sudden, you see the My Hero Academia seal guy pop up. Hey, guys, I'm just oh, here killer, to help out. <laughs> killer whale? Or no. No, no, no seal or something I forget, like that. I forget what his name is. Killer Orca. Gang Orca. Yeah, gang yeah, Orca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Doesn't he have really long earlobes? Like he wears those gauge earrings? Earring no, now you're getting Hunter, now you're getting Hunter, Hunter mix. You're thinking of the old man from Hunter, Hunter. He got them. I, I, I Netero. Know. Yo, Netero was, that's my man. Anyways. Yes. Yeah. Um, Give me more of anything else besides Gabby on the show, and you have my whole I'll, devotion. I'll also my heart. say that that one was it. What's that material they use? That's only in Paradise. It's like the uh, ice, ice, ice burst. Ice burst. Ice burst. Yeah. Ice burst. Oh, yeah. 
Icebergs. Like again, yep. more called Yas. Like just remind me of the sock sock right, whatever. Where it's like seventy percent of sock rights only in Japan. That's why they colonized it. So yeah, reminds me more of that. Cool. Sageo. Yes. That's all we got, baby. I think I think we're ending with that. So oh, so man. thanks guys. Thanks for everyone in chat for joining us. Always appreciate it. Yo. Shout, Yo. Shout, shout out to you for for having Sasha's back. Always. You two and your Aaron loves. Yep. Hashtag Team Aaron. Hashtag Family Strauss. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> and with that, we're going to end it. So we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. Darren, amigo, muchísimas gracias para escuchar nuestro podcast. Y por favor, no le gusta Gabby. Gabby es el enemigo. <laughs> Gabby necesita muerte, uh, muerte. Mentiroso. Oh, <laughs> ah, okay, es un uh -huh. placer. So he's like, oh yeah, it's my pleasure. And then uh, pobre Gabby means like poor Gabby. But really yeah. what he's trying to say is like, he deserves to be poor. And he <laughs> <laughs> Horses should stop on her body. Yes. Estoy de acuerdo, amigo. Estoy de acuerdo. No, I just, I just thought the first episode was so average and just kind of boring. I, I, admittedly, off. yeah. I told him the first episode was really eh. And then, like, the, I would even say the few episodes after that, it took a yeah. while to really get it into the bit, mix. Yeah. So, like, yeah. The first few episodes, I was, he's like, Sasha was telling me, he's like, yo, do I need to get into this? And I'm like, honestly, bro, like, nah. And then literally probably like two episodes after that, I'm just like every week, like Sasha, you gotta. You know, like, <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't trust you, man. Like you told me it was crap. I'm like, I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's yeah, amazing. Man.